I do know is that in the civil rights movement, we thought, at least I thought, and there were probably some others, maybe everybody didn't think this, but we thought that if we could get white America to let us sit at the lunch counter, let us drink out the white people's water fountain, let us vote, let us even use the white people's outhouses, and that's crass, but we thought that if we could just make America, let us even vote, that we would be free. We thought that, I did anyway. You know, we're gonna struggle, we'll go to jail, we'll face the water hoses, we'll do all of these things to be, f and, and then we'll be free. That wasn't the answer. We didn't understand. We still don't understand. We don't understand what happened to us on the slave ships. We don't understand what happened to us on the plantations. We don't understand because those are such painful periods that we can't even allow ourselves to remember it. But there's not been one moment stop in time since the first African was first put his first foot on a slave ship to now. There's been no stop in time. So everything is everything. So African Americans have to find a way of transforming themselves. We have to transform ourselves, and we don't necessarily know how to do that. See you know what I'm saying? And that can be done through education, because Carter G. Woodson talked about that. He talked about the miseducation of the Negro, that if you train, and he says this, if you train a man to go to the back door, uh, he will go there. And if there is not one, he will cut one for himself. So we, we can't, the educational, it's just impossible almost broadly for the children of slave masters to create an educational system to free the slaves. You can't do it. So we have to figure it out ourselves. We have to understand who we are. We're, we're afraid to even understand that we are from Africa because Africa has been so demeaned, savages, cannibals, et cetera, et cetera. But I say either you're from Africa or you're from slavery. Choose. Choose. You know who? Choose. But we have to embrace where we came from, we have to embrace ourselves. Children don't know what they don't know. They don't know what they're supposed to know. It's the educational system that informs them. A little kindergartner coming into this school, you know, all oh, anxious to learn and stuff. He doesn't know what he doesn't know. It's our responsibility to help those children. And America is failing because America has not yet looked at itself. What we did to the Native, well, I didn't do it, but what was done to the Native American people in America has to do with why we got to have guns right now. America's never not had guns because it started out with guns killing people to get their land. So are we teaching our children that? No. We're going to have little pictures of Thanksgiving, you know, and some Puritans. <sighs> Give me a break. You know, so we can't get rid of the guns because we've always had to have guns to defend ourselves. At the same time, Lincoln was writing the, the uh, so-called uh, Emancipation Proclamation. They were killing Indians the same days, right, right, right at the same time. He was signing bills to go and kill the Indians. So, what is that? So the educational system is failing the country. It's failing everybody. And maybe that's why African Americans are here to say this, but it's taken us a long, hard time to get to understand it. <laughs>